Assalamualaikum everybody. For the last 40 years, I have made a lot of speeches and presentations. And most of them were to the food and pharma industry. And we have quite a few people from the industry present here. Thank you very much for working with us trying to understand what our requirements are and diligently meeting the requirements for domestic consumption of the products as well as for international the other countries. What Salman said earlier has been long 40 years, starting with a very small group of professionals, scientists and scholars, we have grown to a total staff of around 100 in six different countries and we have clients in 70 plus countries around the world. You may not see our halal logo on the products as readily except for average products and uh, Godiva chocolate and uh, organic belly and some others, but you certainly would see our logo all around in Singapore, Malaysia, all over in Pakistan, and in Pakistan even had our logo is on five gallon uh, water jugs. So we have grown tremendously overseas primarily thanks to the industry's cooperation and my staff and consultants working diligently together. Thank you very much. I also want to thank my hometown, Chicago, Greater Chicago, the community, all the centers. We have gone through a lot of struggle establishing the centers and schools and masajid. I think we are at that point that we are being noticed by the government, by the media, and also, believe, believe me, by politicians too. We have had a visit from two politicians asking about what is the halal. We're working on a halal bill. Okay. So things are happening right now, and inshallah, will keep happening. We are at that break point right now. Other than the community, the industry, and the staff, there's very, very important group of people who have given my organization and Muslims in USA support. And that is the government authorities in Indonesia. We have a good team from Indonesia, government and not NGO. We also have team from Singapore. They were the first one to hold the International Halal Food Conference in 1990 and then 92. We were part of that also. We also have our friends from uh, Thailand, Pakistan, um, also my dear friend for the last 15 years or so, uh, His Excellency Nabi Mullah from Saudi Arabia. He retired from a very high government position but still is active with us and keeps giving us the support. To all of you, thank you, good. I also want to recognize the representatives of the other governments, Council General of Pakistan, Tara Karim is here, and Mrs. And uh, we have representation from Consulate of Indonesia also. Please give them a hand of applause. <laughs> and all the staff and people and friends they have brought together to make 
power behind every memorable one. We also have some significant people. It would be, I would be a mess if I don't mention their name. We have had a project with the Texas A&M University. We, uh, for 30 years, I've been trying to hire people, Muslims who will know about halal and who will know our systems. But it so happened that I had to hire people and train people ourselves in our setting for the type of work we do. So five years ago, we created a relationship with Texas A&M Food Science Department to start a diversity program where 30% of coursework in, in a four-year uh, undergrad uh, is the diversity. That is halal, kosher, organic, ethnic food products. And the professor who is Ivanka, professor of diversity, Dr. Mia Riaz is here today. And also, <clears throat> the program is managed under the Texas A&M Foundation and represented from uh, Texas A&M Foundation, Kyle is here also. Please give them a hand. We also have had relationship at the media level or international level to get the word out. And we've been working with another organization called the Dinar Standard. They put out a report called Global Islamic Economy Report, and that has, has become a top reference and most quoted document anywhere. When you say, oh, Halal is going to grow to $3 trillion, these are the people behind that. What a great job Rafi Shiko and his team has done. We also identify, I want to reflect on our work in three different ways. When we started our work in 1980, we got registered in 82, our mission was to promote halal. How do we promote halal? Gather the information from the industry, read the label, make the list, make data copies of those lists and distribute. So our mission was to educate our own families and community. Over the next 10 years, we started getting requests from overseas for a halal certificate. First halal certificate we ever issued was for a tough paste. Okay? So that set us on the path of halal certification, which grew to uh, beyond our, my imagination at least. So third level, so the third level came when we said we have done good job in doing a lot of certification of products and we need to look at broader picture. We started looking at wherever the gaps are in food security. And we defined food security. If you're not getting halal product when you paying for it or somebody paying on your behalf, we call that food insecurity for you. You see that in the colleges, first year college students, food is part of their fees. 
And many of them don't even eat that food that they pay for. Same thing happening in high schools and other institutions. We also created guidelines in 92 for Muslims in the military so they would have the uh, halal certified meals and there's a company here, my own meal, they created those meals and have been providing meals to the military. Then we also realized there are gaps in pharma, so we got together with UNICEF and, and uh, UNICEF accepted us as a partner to address the issue of health insecurity and, and hesitancy or hesitance from vaccines. So we are sharing the information with the different groups to, to decrease the hesitancy and one of the uh, functions last year was organized by MBS and Dr. Fauci was the keynote speaker or the only speaker in that function and, and the purpose of that was also to try to address the issue of vaccines so that more people can take the vaccine. Okay. We also working with the UN Commission for Refugees. Uh, they have a new program where they are going to be collecting through a Muslim group, collecting the God money and spending on the refugees. And if you think of eight to 10 million refugees out there, my number might be wrong, but okay, are Muslims in Syria and Lebanon and in, 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 in uh, Jordan and many other countries. So we will be partnering with the UNHCR. The reps from UNHCR and, and UNICEF are here tonight also to give us the support. <laughs> On the local scene, we also realize if some organization is doing a good job, we support them also. We have supported ACLU, we have supported the uh, Southern Poverty Law Center, uh, care organization, uh, and a number of uh, uh, high schools, schools, organizations. So God has blessed us with the financial success. We share that in the right causes. And the last one I'm going to mention, but then at the least one is one of the most important and close to my heart. And we are creating joint program together in, in educating and training my staff and bringing the, the projects to the next level. And it is at Tuna College. Uh, Sheikh Hamza Yusuf is here today, and Mrs. and other people. And thank you very much, Sheikh. Uh, bringing us into your family will be working together. This one on this speech. I just wanted to say a few things and wanted to thank you all for being part of our organization, being part of the bigger community, being part of the halal community, together we will grow. Thank you very much.